All right, we're back on the Miami Herald High School Football Gridiron Report, state championship week here at Gibson Park. We're covering the Booker T. Washington football practice as they get ready for rains on Saturday night in the Citrus Bowl. We're here with Dedrick Mackey. Dedrick, tell us about this season, man, because at the start of the year, I know I came by to see you guys in August, and the confidence was still pretty, yeah, I was optimism on this team, mm -hmm. but you knew that it was going to be a tough road to get here. You're back in the state championship game. I guess how satisfying is that for you guys? Because I'm sure you heard a lot of the noise over the course of the season doubting you guys are going to get back. Um, it's very satisfying because coming in the beginning of the season, we took a few losses, tough losses. Um, then um, coming back and getting to the state um, championship means a lot. You know, we had a lot of doubters and stuff, you know. Proving, we proving them wrong. What, what was the message maybe in the middle of the season when you had a couple of losses there that were close, that kind of defla felt a little bit deflating? What, what was the message to the guys, especially the younger guys, that you told them to kind of keep their heads up? Oh, I just, I just told some of the players that, that, that we, ain't, we ain't playing F5 football. Like, we got to get back on to the bases and work hard. How much of a leader have you had to be this year? I had to be a big leader. You know, um, last year, I was a sophomore. I had a lot of help from um, the older guys. You know, I just took took their places and um, took some of that work they gave me and um, told our players this year. Did you talk to any of the older guys during the year to maybe get some advice on you know that on leadership that kind of thing? Yeah, I talked to um, Terry Jefferson, O.C. Rose, Devontae Davis. You know, they keep in contact with me, um, talking to me, um, telling us to keep the guys up and stuff. Okay. Well, what was something they told you maybe that stuck in your head? They were like, um, don't take don't take the losses like. For, um, don't 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 um, dwell on the losses and stuff. Like, just um, keep our heads and keep playing. Dedrick, what, what's your college status right now? Where where you at right now? Uh, I have um, FAU. Uh, I have USF and Temple right now. Okay. Um, what would you want in a college? I mean, not not saying name a school, but like, what's the ideal situation you're looking for? Um, I want to feel like when I go to college, I want to feel a family. I want to feel um, like. I want my mother to be at, at least go to uh, five home games. I want I want my mother to watch me play football. Um, yeah, that's it. She always watched you play since yeah. you were little. Yeah, she she been watching me since I was little. Every game, she never missed a game. Okay. Um, any any interest outside of football? Something you maybe want to look into once you get to college? Uh, um, when I get to college, I want to major in business management. Okay. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about so, who are some of the younger guys that you kind of become a mentor for on on the defensive side this year. Uh, um, Robert Hicks, um, Jaquan Beaver, uh, Richard Dames, Rashad Dames, Quentin Brooks. You know, um, the, the um, young guys that play a big role in our defense uh, this year. What's it going to take to have a state championship in your hands come Saturday night? Well, we're going to come um, uh, studying the um, film, watching them and, and study, studying them and being like on the field. Like we know what's coming, um, like, like play for it. Dedrick, thank you very much, man. Congratulations. You can catch him in the tornado Saturday night in the Citrus Bowl. Hey, I'm Miami Hill sports writer Manny Navarro here with Marlon Pilo, linebacker for Booker T. Washington High School. And Marlon, uh, you guys last week pulled off uh, an upset in the eyes of a lot of people, beating Coco to get back to state. Was it an upset for you? No, it wasn't an upset. We prepared all week. You know, Coach Tron and Coach DJ preparing us all week. It's preparation, you know. We didn't come in and take them lightly like we had the game already. The whole week we've been preparing, watching film, working hard. Now you get Jacksonville range, you get to go back to Orlando. Talk about that feeling of, of knowing you're going back to state. It feels good to know that we're going back to state, but, you know, we're not satisfied, you know, because we can go there, but we have to win it. So our coaches is right now are preparing us, getting us ready for the game, and we're going to try to do it just like we did Coco, preparing and getting ready. Marlon, you uh, you were on last year's team, right, it, or, or not here at Booker T last year? No. no. What, what did you see of Booker T? Did you watch him from afar, or what did you think of them? I actually watched Booker T a lot last year. You know, high inspirations of coming here and playing because I saw they written and how the coaches coached and how hard they, you know, was dedicated and how the pride that they have for their school. And I wanted to be a part of that. Where were you at before? I was at Miami Northwestern Senior High School. Oh, so you traded in the Bulls for the Tornadoes. I know that's probably sacrilege in your neighborhood. What did people say about that? Uh, you know, a lot of people wasn't happy, but, you know, it was best for me. And I felt like this program opened arms to me and I was ready, you know, taking the learning and getting better. Now, uh, this defense as a whole has gotten, it seems like it's gotten better week to week to week. What do you think has been the key for you guys in the playoffs? Because it seems like the team's really come together the last few weeks. Uh, it's just bonding, you know, getting to know each other better, knowing that this is my brother and he's going to be there every time. Like, if I make him make this cut, he's going to be there. So it's just preparing us, you know, bonding, getting to know each other better, and we just click. Uh, Jacksonville Reigns has a, quite a few athletes on the team that are that are going to FBS schools, and they got eight eight kids on that team that might have scholarships. What do you think of that uh, roster? What you seen of them on film so far? Uh, they look they look very good, but you know, my brothers, I know how we work, and we're ready to take on the challenge. You know, try our best to you know hold them down, not let them go, just compete. 
All right, Marcus. So, uh, do we have a prediction from you, or are we, or are we not getting no predictions today? No, it's no prediction. No, just going out there, playing our hard out, giving our best. That's, that's good enough. That's usually good enough for Booker T. Yes, that's all. All right, for Marcus, I'm Manny Navarro. We'll see you.